All it took was a simple tip of the cap to kickstart Mike McDaniel's now highly respected NFL journey 29 years ago in Greeley. I have like 15 stories in my life that feel like Disney. His first Once Upon a Time was actually told on Nine News back at the turn of the century when he was a senior at Smoky Hill High School. Being five or six and just, you know, saying I have to be a Denver Bronco football player. I, I cannot, my life will not be successful if I don't play professionally. We shared Mike his story, which he hadn't seen in 22 years. And I was like, man, my chin strap acne from football helmets. Um, <laughs> you know, I was hoping that was pre-HD so it wouldn't pick that up, but it sure did. McDaniel lost his hat at Broncos training camp as a child. That I was trying to get Robert Del Pino's autograph, who's number 39 at the time. And when Broncos video coordinator Gary McCune found him crying, he brought Mike a brand new cap and invited him and his family to watch practice with him the following day. He was the most polite young man that I had ever met in my life. Mike brought his single mother. She and Gary fell in love and got married soon after, while the young McDaniel stayed very active with the Broncos. Then I would, I would stay there until like 7.30 at night, sometimes 8, like, grinder. Now that you've got the time to reminisce, do you see that hat in any way as a catalyst to kickstart your career? I see it as, uh, yeah, it is for sure, but I think it's more than that. You try to make sure that you're prepared for the moment when the moment comes. So um, I really, uh, I, I haven't even really registered or uh, digested it. Um, I've been more trying to do my job that I was just hired to do. His first official step into the NFL was as a 17-year-old Bronco ball boy. You know, the kid with the hoop earrings. Oh yeah, I had hoop earrings, right? I knew that'd come back to bite me. <laughs> the former Bronco super fan and ball boy is now the head coach of one of the NFL's most distinguished franchises. The next time you throw on a Miami Dolphins hat, will you think about how it kind of all started? Now I will. <laughs> since, you just, since you just microchipped my brain. <laughs> it was meant to be. Just a great gift that any only child deserves to have. Mike McDaniel, the kid who lost his hat in Greeley and found his way to Miami.